Good evening, YouTubers. This is Puka Digit here. So, kumbawa may sayang Puka to Digit is Audrey from Hong Kong. And welcome back for more anime previews, Gucci previews to share with all of you. So, today's film you can tell by the title of this video is yet again I've done another um, anime Kuji, which is in English we call them uh, Lottery. And this is the theme of another, or yet again, the Ichiban Kuji Senu Moon Pajamas Party. And for those of you who have really uh, have already watched it on my um, very first uh, Kuji of the Senu Moon uh, theme from last month, yes, I have done this one like around five. Like, let's say below uh, 10 like that, but let's say it's 5 because I already said it. So for those of you who have not uh, watched that one, you can check it on my playlist where I put the folder there, all the Kuji previews plus my live reaction. You can go check that out. I have done variety of Kuji since like uh, year 2016 and until now I still do some Kujis but doesn't mean all the um, Kujis that I'll go for because you have to think about the budget you have, to you have to also think if the items or the price are really worth for you in the end because you may not know if you don't need them then it's gonna be a waste of your money so you have to think wisely uh, whether to go for this Kuji or not if it's your favorite anime or cartoon or not it's really it's your choice because you really know Kujis and lotteries are kind of a little bit of a gambling like that and you have to be very 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 lucky if you're if you're going to get your favorite price it doesn't have to be a jackpot price but as long as you get your favorite price of all and before i show you my live reaction regarding about the ceremony kuji so if those of you are new to my channel uh, normally i show the price list and then explain the, the prices and then show my live reaction clip which I pick it up from the box and then I get random tickets and I don't say how many because it's going to be a spoiler and will not be a surprise like that so after I get the tickets from the box and then I peel it off the ticket and it shows or reveal the letters of the price that you get For example if you get the um, B price and this is the theme that you like or not then that's the result you get and also depends on how many slots for the prices itself so before I show you my lab reaction, here are the following list of the prizes. I want to let you see it all in a few seconds, let's say 5 to 10 seconds as I am talking to you all. And for those of you who are new to this, you can see it really clearly, whether it's or not, but you can tell. If you want to know more information about the Ichiban Kujis, you can go to the website, which I already put it on the um, uh, on the description below, where it says the Ichiban Kuji website, although it says uh, in Japanese. It's written in Japanese, but you can go to the, uh, the Chrome, the internet Chrome, and you can just do the translation there from Japanese to English or uh, or your language like that so without further ado um, enjoy my live reaction So after I have done just three tries, literally three times, but there is a mini story uh, to it. So I'm gonna say say it in a short form. So normally you can tell by the first clip when I record, right? I need done two tries. I just want to try two tries just to get the change or spare change to have my trans fee and for backup food. But then the shop owner forgot to give me the remaining change out of like how many the, the money that I gave. She forgot to give me the remaining money. I'm not going to tell you how much is it because it's a little bit expensive if you want to do the draw there rather than there in Japan because that also includes the, sh the shipping fee and then how long it takes and how popular the uh, Kuji film it is. So after I gave the money and I noticed instantly that she forgot to give me the the, the change. So I said to her, okay, I'll give you another spare of the money. Uh, like how much is it left just to do one more draw and then she noticed oh I can give you back the, uh, that uh, remaining money but then I said to her no 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 it's okay I'll do one more draw just for you to relax I like, cause I can tell she was so busy the shop owner was so so busy so I really feel bad for her because I know the feeling when you're working too much many people are bothering you you know what I mean so I just do that just for the sake for her, literally. I don't expect any of the, the draws. I just said to myself, whatever draw I would get from this box, whatever the ticket, the price I will get on my third try, 
I'm fine with it. Whether I get the crappy ones or I end up getting the jackpot price by accident, I, I really didn't care. So as I open it up, and what happens, I end up getting my most favorite. Like, I know a lot of you will say B price is more better than the D price. But as you look carefully on the D price, it's a tote bag. But look carefully on the photo right here, which I forgot to show you a while ago. So, you can see before I did, I done the three draws. Those are the slots, the, the top prices, all the way from A to E. Still not taken, literally. That's from another store in Sino Center. Now, on the second floor, for those of you who are living here in Hong Kong, you don't know. They still have it here, but you may not know it's going to be gone soon, so wish you good luck. And you can tell the A and the all the way to the E price, it's still gone when I uh, tried to do the draw there that time. But I don't know how's the result rated right now, but you can check it there maybe tomorrow or during your day offs. And as you can see, the A and the D price, the cushion or pillow, and the tote bag that I like the most, only one ticket. So that means it's very hard to get or you are just going to be uh, lucky if you're going to get that one and I wasn't expecting to get it literally I really was not expecting it and I already did mention on my previous video when I was doing the cinnamon kuji I said above all the kujis I really really do like the D price then the second one goes to the B and then the third one is the A price because I know if I end up getting the A price I will be consuming a lot of space of my bed and then my mother go freak out again because I also have a very life-size uh, plush doll. If those of you um, knows that I actually have a uh, Meikumon life-size plush doll, and it's very hum humongous. So without that, let's skipping all those and let you see the three items that I have won from the Cinnamon Kuji from last week. So it's all in the plastic bag. So before I show you my most favorite D price, so here are the lowest price. You can tell. All the way from F, G, and H. But first is first. I will show you the H price, and I chose the outer senshi's. It's very, is a lovely, gorgeous pattern. I can tell how the way they just um, printed out. It's really, really gorgeous. And then you can see right here the words. It says here the pretty guardian ceremony. Although they should have just maybe named this for outer senshi's because you can see Neptune, Saturn, and then uh, Uranus and Bluto so they could have put the, at least the name for the outer senshis like I'm not so sure like say pretty guardian outer senshis maybe just saying and I know a lot of you say towels are just uh, useless there's no point of using it but a lot of people I noticed like the posts uh, on Instagram the people from Japan or other countries they're very unique as I see them they're making this as like a purse or you know like DIY stuff or making it as a blanket or a uh, sheet like that like a window sheet like this like this is my window sheet right here the blue one you can tell yep I had to yank it there we go so this is uh, the age price and there's actually a total of four sets if you did not notice there's actually uh, four different kinds I will show you as proof you can see here it says here number four and sorry if it's blurry so the other three pattern the other pattern is Sun Moon and Chibi Moon. The other uh, second pattern is the other four Sailor Scouts, uh, Sailor Mercury, Jupiter, Venus, and Mars. And then the other part, uh, pattern is actually a very cute pattern of Luna, uh, Altimus, the white cat. Uh, but those are the chibi versions like that of them that represents the cute forms. If I get it correctly, I just can't remember anymore. So that's the uh, H price that I got, only one. And then the second one I got is the G price right here. Here is the G price. Let me put that focus again. Just want to give that auto focus. There we go. And you can see it's the other Shenshi's yet again. You can see, there we go. With uh, Sarah, uh, Neptune right here and Uranus. And I really like how they did the um, background of the box, the theme of them. And you can see there's total of four sets of these cups. There's the Sailor Moon, Chibi Moon, and then these two the one I got, which represents the green color and dark blue or navy blue. And then the yellow one represents uh, uh, Neptune, wait, uh, Mercury, Mars, Venus, and uh, Jupiter. And then down here is Pluto and uh, Saturn, you can tell already. But I can't show you all of it because it's already down there and I'm still currently waiting if anyone here in Hong Kong 
their plan are actually they want to get a whole set of it because I have a lot of the towels and a lot of these ones. So I end up getting around six of these ones in my possession. And for the towels, I think including this one is going to be seven. So that's a lot. And still waiting if anyone really wants to buy them. So those of you who are watching right now but living here in Hong Kong, uh, please let me know in the comments below if you're interested on the um, following items. If you're interested, then I will um, just private me, uh, like uh, direct message me on my Instagram or you can just WhatsApp me. But as long as private message. And then last but not least, before to end my video and to give my final conclusion for this uh, Salmon Kuji, my most favorite of all and was not expecting is this, the D price. And oh my gosh, it's just very nice and really I'm surprised that this one is actually just one. Like why it has to be only one slot when in fact they could actually make it into two slots. But it's just weird that besides A to be only one slot, D slot is also one which I find it very odd. So please don't ask me why, uh, why there's only actually one of the D price. I really want to know that myself as well. And currently, if those of uh, if those of you are actually uh, likes this one as well, the D price. Some people are selling it the cheapest price for um, uh, 110 Hong Kong dollars. That's the cheapest, and then the most expensive is around 250 to 300 Hong Kong dollars. But I'm not so sure what's the the amount, the current amount. If it's from the states or from other countries, if people are selling these kinds of a tote bag. And you know me, no matter what kind of kuji they have or the theme of the cartoon or anime they like that they held for the kuji themes, I just like tote bags. I don't know why. I'm just like my mother that likes bags, but not entirely the whole bag. But when it comes to the anime patterns or the anime films that I love the most, then I have to get tote bag. So I can't wait to open this up to share it at all with you. So here's the front view and here is the big tag logo with a diamond shape, you can see, not really diamond shape on bad. And it says here the D price for D show in Japanese. And here's the icon of the uh, anniversary of the ceremony, Ichiran Kuji, and from Ben Presto. And here is the ceremony logo and it says here of the bag. And it's just one kind. And the company mini bonus right here from the toy animation sticker. So let's uh, open this up. Can't wait. And wow, this is like um, like a grocery bag, and I noticed that just by touching the fabric of the, the this tote bag itself, it's like this. Uh, like I just said a while ago, it's like a grocery bag that you go market to buy the stuff. And I wouldn't literally like I wouldn't recommend like if you're going to do this like a daily um, bringing, um, best not to because I noticed the fabric of this bag. It's easy to get damaged and the printed labels you can see the colorful ones right there's the pink or light pink but then there's other colors they're been labeled out or like dry paint so that means whatever how much you, you try to bend it too much like this or crumple it up like a ball or you know just mess it all around like example here just crumple it up you may not know if the paint the dry paints will be torn apart so I wouldn't recommend if you have these kinds of particular bag uh, to always bring it up with you because I remember one of the bags that I want from the H Bang Kuji is the film of card from Sakura I remember for using it all the time and because of that the paint is not a problem it's the it's the, the the color of the bag because it's not pure white but it's similar to this color and because I'm using it almost every day that time and I regret for doing that because now the bag of that card card Sakura tote bag is a bit small and it's also the price that's like two years ago it's a little bit dirty so I'm trying my best to keep it in good condition and not to make it too dirty so most of the time I'm using those uh, tote bags not only just the Ichiban Kujis or Kuji bags I'm using the bags that are just black or like dark color themes because we use the colors that are too bright you know like white color light you know like pink like red those bright colors is easy to get um, easy to get uh, very very dirty and there's a downside of this bag that I'm just going to be honest in my own opinion so you can see the inside right it's uh, not a problem of the plane itself 
but the sad part is this is not those kinds of a drawstring bag because the one I just mentioned a while ago of this Akura uh, tote bag but I, I, I cannot show you because it's inside my wardrobe it, it has like not the zipper but it's a drawstring bag so it keeps like a condition like that it's like a lunchbox bag a Japanese lunchbox bag and too bad it has no zipper as well so this is a little bit of a disadvantage because you may not know if there be like a robbery or thief that suddenly just snatch your stuff so if it's uh, if i were you if those of you are wondering when to use this bag well you can use it for like if you're just going out for just a short while like you meet up your friends or example like sometimes i go to church with like when I go to church with my sister, just for a short few hours like that, just short hours, like let's say one to three hours, just go out for a while, then bring stuff that you really need, and then keep it to you or close, no matter what. Then this is a bag, like it's okay, but if you're out for the whole entire time, and you already know that you'll be out for more than six hours, or you're working, and then they see something, your bag is so interesting, and then they see your valuable stuff in it, then that's all history. You already get the point by history. But in general, it's still a good, uh, gorgeous, lovely bag. And inside the bag, there is that uh, tag, which is all the way in. Let me try to flip it. Not all the way. You can see the label right there. It says here the company from Ben Presto. And then the price is only in Japan. And then you can see the Japanese word says they're Ichiban Kuji. So, but in general, it still is a nice bag, but I'm just not so sure is when am I going to use it. Maybe I will use it when I go to church with my sister, Nat Narv, or if I want to meet up with my um, co-worker friends because, uh, speaking of my co-worker friends, I recently, or just yesterday, I resigned from the airport because there's too much pressure there. I couldn't handle it anymore, so I resigned at the airport, but I'm currently waiting for my new job yet again in the airport by a different company. I'm not going to say which company that I worked there for so long but I decided to resign. Too much pressure for me but my one of my co-workers there, uh, my friends, I could just call them my friends, they kind of miss me and they want to treat me uh, free food at the airport so I was really surprised and they just called me this uh, early afternoon that they still owe me a free, um, they still owe me free food which I find very odd. So I can actually bring this one, just bring whatever I need and I don't really need to um, stay out there at the airport for so long anyway. So before I end the video, before I uh, talk a little bit too much for this, so for my conclusion, this is really is still a lovely bag no matter what. Although I let, like I said to you, there's some downside for it besides of the um, they're getting dirty and stuff but you really get my point of the safetyness but if it's for the design itself the simple design it really is nice but i know a lot of people here in hong kong they don't really like this one they're still on the target is to get the b price not the a price but literally the b price so a lot of people still ask me until now uh, am i still going to sell my remaining b price but i literally say it's not for sale so no matter how many people are going to comment on my instagram post I had to uh, turn off the co uh, the comment section. No offense, but more people are keep asking me lately, and I had to just display, put the word there, display only. And then when it comes to people commenting on that section for the B price, I instantly just had to turn it off. And that's about it. All these um, goodies of the D prices, and I'm really am satisfied to get my most favorite D uh, D prices and the prices that I want from from last month that has the I price of the mercury that I chose and then the B price out of five pulls I was able to get it and then finally my favorite prize of all in the Santa Moon Kuji set the D price is with me and I just couldn't um, I'm just really just happy that I got it so um, if you enjoyed this video everyone if those of you are very first time to watch this um, uh, Kuji preview and you want to see more um, Kuji previews even though it's going to be my first time, my first pull or I've done this again again and you want to know more Kuji uh, preview infos, uh, feel free to um, subscribe and if you did enjoy this video, click the thumbs up and then feel free to subscribe and stay tuned for more anime um, 
previews, cage reviews to share with all of you. Because coming on this week, on this uh, next week, Monday to uh, Sunday, I'm having a long break from my current work because I resigned. So I'm giving you a short um, news that if you're waiting for my um, previews, like besides the Kuji previews, but I have a lot of anime Kujis. I mean, anime previews to share with all of you. Like I'm currently waiting for the Talon Plush. There's some Kujis that I want to preview that is so long that I'm so desperate that I really want to share with you. With you. And some figures that I really want to share with you Digifans and I'm still stuck because of my job. But I'm just so excited for this coming week. I will try my best to adjust the time and see if I could do some part of drawing and some part of the videoing preview and I get to upload it on my YouTube channel. So if you really really that desperate and you're, you're eager can't wait to see those, I can't tell it to you because it's going to spoil the surprise. Let me know in the comments below which one you're more eager, the Kuji preview, the anime preview, just let me know in the comments below. Feel free to comment, I will try my best to reply to your um, comments. So until then everyone, see you all in the next anime preview.